Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be building a wizard slash mage tower for you guys. Uh, I've already done a couple wizard tower tutorials on my channel. Let's see if we can spot them. Can you hear my clock? That's a grandfather clock going off. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but yeah, down there you can see there's my mini mage tower. And then I did this big mage tower, wizard tower tutorial. And now I'm going to be doing another different type of wizard tower. Because I feel like it would look better. So what you want to start off with. Very very simple. Just five blocks of spruce wood. A three block gap. And then another five blocks. And you want to take a one block gap here. And just do the exact same again. Like so. And then another one block gap. Diagonally and like so. Another one block gap diagonally. And like so. And finally. You get this shape. The shape shape where it's a kind of circle type shape and yeah I'm hearing strange noises in the background sorry if you can hear them and you want to grab my new favorite block in Minecraft ever is the bone block you want to grab the bone block and just do exactly what I'm doing like so and then you just want to bring it up like that and you want to do that on all of the different sides can't place blocks today sorry about that there we go and you also want to bring it out on the corners here as well except these bits so only up to there like that so you can see it already starting to take shape and you can see I'm going for a very white and purple kind of theme here which I think works very well for this type of wizard tower is going to be a more fantasy type mage tower rather than a classic type wizard tower there with the cone roof but I anyhow I hope it looks good and I hope it provides you with a lots of inspiration for what is actually going on right now that's all I ever try to do and like that okay and of course you want to create all the same shape. Yeah, I only, I'm only providing inspiration with these tutorials. Uh, copying is permitted of course because it's a tutorial, but I wouldn't advise it. Uh, because inspiration makes it much better and improves your building as a whole. Anyway, there we go. We've got this shape already done. We're just going to create the bare bones of it first and get what I did there. Bare bones. Uh, anyway, you just want to put these spruce wood in like this as you probably realized already and then what you want to do is you just want to take it up by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten blocks i'm pretty sure i'm 90 percent sure that's correct it's probably gonna end up being wrong but it's not the end of the world we can always fix that very very easily with just extending it up or down a tiny little bit because we're going to be working on the detailing in the bottom right now so I'm just going to bring these all the way up and this creates a kind of shape of what the wizard tower is going to be looking like not sure what shape it is creating right now but anyway we're going to start down the bottom here and you just want to place two stone brick stairs at the bottom as you can probably imagine like so wow rubber banding that's fun and then you just want to place a stone brick slab stone brick slab and two upside down stairs with a cobblestone wall in the middle so it creates that shape and that's kind of a nice shape i don't know why it's such a nice shape in my opinion but it is and you want to create that sort of shape all on all four sides of the wizard tower and that's going to act as a base support and I'll be showing you what to do next just about now I believe so yep okay now what you want to do is you actually want to grab something you may not think but you want to grab a grey banner I know this sounds probably quite weird but you want to grab a grey banner and put it there and there and you just oh I've done this wrong Oh, I have as well. Oops, I have done this wrong. 
I've done it wrong on all four, on three of the sides, so like that. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, that's correct. Now I had the window in slightly the wrong place. But no, we just want to put a um, banner on either side and then just take the shape above it. But not that shape because I've done that wrong. You want to place the slab in the top of the banner. So like that. And you want to do that on, of course, all of the sides. And try not to get your banners shaped like that. Because in my opinion, they don't look as good when they are tilted. And you just want to put that shape. So it acts as a little roof and the banners kind of look like a bit of a support. But, but, but there we go. There we go. And on one of the sides, uh, we're going to be wanting to make a door. So on this side, let's say we're making the door, you just want to bring out some stairs or whatever you want. I'd recommend just some slabs like that. Or if you really want to, some stairs. Stairs probably work better in this situation anyway, like that. And they can just act as some simple stairs. Or if you really, really want to, you could bring it all the way back. Like so. Uh, they just very simple. You can do really whatever with them. That is not a part of the build I am really focusing on because honestly, it's not that important where the door goes um, or how the staircase looks. But as you can see, you just stick a door in there and it works very well. For the windows, however, it's going to be slightly different. We're going to put a piece of purple glass in the bottom of each of the windows and a piece of magenta glass on top of it. So it gives this two toned window look and I really think that works well so now we've ignored these corners for a little bit you just want to grab some cool stone wall and bring it all the way up not to the top one block off the top you want to bring it all the way up except one block off the top of course all the way up and of course all the way up and then you want to grab a hopper stick it on top and the hoppers look like kind of a support um, I think the effect works quite well as you can see and you just want to grab a polished andesite block to top it off. So there you go. That is essentially the bottom bit done. Except there we go. Now we're going to move on to this top little bit. A little bit where you need to grab ourselves some cobblestone stairs. And stick them on top of each of these to hide the inside wood texture. Which personally I don't like. Unless it's used correctly. A bit like, a bit like birchwood logs. And there we go. we got that shape. And then just here you just want to put two cobblestone walls. And... Three stone, don't break like that, and that just I don't know it creates a nice little effect for a window ledge because above it is a window. I'll be showing you how to do that just after I've done this. So there we go. We've got the window ledge in, and I think that's a really really good look. And in the window, we're just gonna want to put a checkerboard pattern of each of the glass. You can do this however way round you want, but you just want a three by three checker pattern of glass if I can. There we go. Three by three checker pattern of glass. And then it will go up into that. Looks a bit silly at the moment, I know. But it will look a lot better once it's done. There we go, another window done. And I know it does look kind of silly with the uh, little bit of glass just poking out on top because of the change of glass panes but that is going to be all fixed in just a second when we put the walls in um, I can promise you that it's not going to look like that constantly and you can't think I'm a bad builder anyway oh that's the wrong place for that there we go perfect so you got these silly looking windows in to fix that you just want to grab your bone block again and just like so onto the side of the glass paint. I've stuck that over there by accident. There we go. Uh, yeah, you just want to stick it like that just to connect up the window. Well, there we go. And once that's done, we're going to work on the actual frame of the window. So you just want to grab uh, some stone brick slabs and stick them up like this. And then you just want to grab some cobblestone wall and do that and that. That and that. That and that. That and that, that and that, and that and that, that and that, that and that. There we go. So sticking with the kind of purple theme, we want to grab our nether brick fences and just stick them in the side. And that creates a nice little effect for the windows. 
nice big open windows that's probably where you'd have your enchanting room or something and then you get that effect which I really do like and on top of them you want to create the roof effect which is really really quite simple actually so you just want to create a small little roof I'm just gonna clear my inventory out a little bit we want them and where are they them so on top of each of these cobblestone walls you want to place a nether brick stair so if we go around and do that this is creating a nice sheltered roof ledge area for the windows and then off off them you want to take a thing like that so you get a nice little curve shape very very simple indeed you just want to take some slabs like that so you want to take a slab of each of the stairs one on top of each of those and then you could put a full full block but i'm just going to put a double slab because i have slabs on me and then it's extremely simple just like that and that creates a really nice shape for the sections of them and then you just want to grab your bone blocks again and do this so just bring them across like so so there you go you got your bone blocks on there and now the next bit is going to be moving on to some extra detailing you want to scroll all the way down and get yourself an acacia log you may be thinking why would i want this ugly orange log well you don't you want to use it as a support like that and it kind of either looks like a weathered beam or it just looks like a steel beam you can really take it how you want but i think that gives it a good effect and look good and you just want to put two bone blocks on top of them oh that's three two like so and then grab your cobblestone wall again which i forget where they are there they are and stick them in the middle so you get this sort of shape forming and knowing me i've already gone too many blocks high we've gone two blocks higher than i should have done because i knew i had this wrong but i didn't want to say it well i did say it but that's besides the point we've got this shape going on and now you just want to grab yourself these trusty old stone brick slabs which are a big feature of this build and go across like this and then you want to grab yourself some gray carpet there we go and stick that across these and that kind of creates a nice effect it's not exactly the most standout thing ever but it looks good in my opinion and now the next bit is kind of strange you want to grab yourself break yourself even in the middle of them and put them there because I, I got that bit wrong that's just my brain forgetting how the build actually goes and yeah this is actually a build I chucked together myself playing Minecraft with a friend on a different server and I'll be showing you that I'll probably use that as the thumbnail because I built in a really cool location um, but anyway yeah I, this is just me trying to remember what I actually did for that but anyhow you just want to bring bone blocks in a three creating a circle and you want to make sure these are the right orientation otherwise they do slightly look different but there you go you got that little thing there which looks quite decent in my opinion you've got this little ring and you want to grab yourself some more of these spruce wood and bring them up in each of the corners let's just do that make sure they're the right way up as well of course and then there you go you got that and you just want to bring them up a little bit as well you want to bring them up once like this a couple blocks and i think from memory it's one more block but no it's not one no that is how high you do want them like just a little stubby thing like that and you want to grab your cobble wall stick them on each of these like so and then you just want to grab your bone blocks and create i don't know some sort of swirling pattern that actually looks quite cool i don't know that could just be me interesting and then you just want to grab bedrock or obsidian i'm actually going to use obsidian so this is perfectly usable in survival and you can leave this open of course uh for something different i'm going to put an end crystal there uh right now before i end up blowing my myself up hopefully i don't blow myself up doing this 
Because building this initially, I did actually blow myself up. But if we can get ourselves an end crystal, there they are. I think these have a really nice effect and go with the colours of the build. So, there we go. That's contained and won't blow up. We can actually, I'm going to build this up for some more effect like that. And I like how that looks as a little contained little thing. You can do whatever you want up there. It's completely up to you guys. And now, just to finish off the build, I just deleted the block I need. We need some nether brick stairs. And we're going to be doing the roof section. So you just want to grab yourself a corner nether brick off here. A corner nether brick off. A corner of nether brick off there. A corner of nether brick off there. And a corner of nether brick off there. I've done this corner horrifically wrong. But anyhow, that's not going to bother either of us. There we go. So we've got that shape. And yes, I forget what I meant to do. I meant to actually do this. Uh, you can use either blocks or slabs, of course. We need the stone brick again. I'm just using slabs for ease of access. And you just stick them across there. And what that will do is, as you can see here, it's got a little roof bit on it. But once we grab our slabs and add some more effect, you just want to do the slab thing off there and as you can see that creates another sort of shape a bit like this one here and i like it i like it a lot that is one of my favorite shapes you can create in minecraft and then you just want to grab some more stairs like this and build up this point until you get it to this stage and then there's a little bit we want to do after that that's slightly different uh, you just want to put uh, a block of nether brick in there and then that. Nether brick block, that. Nether brick block, slab. And nether brick block, slab. So there you go, the roof is getting done. And now you want to, what you want to do is slightly different. Oh, that could have been bad. You don't want to accidentally misclick. I'm just going to fill the entire top of this in. Just for ease of access. There we go. You can leave the that that's basically the roof done no i'm kidding that's way too plain and you want to build this up a little bit more in the corners so if you just build it up three blocks isn't what you want two blocks there we go we've got three slabs you can just build this up however you want it i'm just going to do two and you can just put I've done this wrong already you just want to put a slab on there well, not a slab, a stair. Stair on there, raining slab. And destroy this top there, that was false. I remember now it's this. Just realising that. There we go. You've got that shape. And then you can just stick a slab off in the middle like that. And that is your tower done. Uh, in my opinion, it's a very, very nice looking tower. It is slightly different from your standard little wizard tower over there or the mini one which is over there. That is actually my favourite wizard tower I've, I have ever done. But this one comes very close. It's a very, very nice build. It's very, very, very simple actually for the detail, for the amount of detail it actually gives. And in my opinion, it is a really, really, really good build. And that's not just me saying that for saying for the sake of saying it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, it's me saying it is it'll look good in your uh, Minecraft worlds if you place it on top of a mountain on top of a snowy peak it would look very very nice with this long winding staircase For the sake of tutorial I just did this little staircase up to the door and you can of course do an interior of what you want But that is all I'm going to be showing you for this tutorial I hope it has provided you with some inspiration if not some build to copy into your world I really hope you come back for more tutorials I've done tutorials on pretty much everything in this world including these two mage towers here and of course, all of the other stuff in here is pretty much tutorialized, except maybe some of that stuff and that. But if you want to see anything on a tutorial, please comment down below what build you want me to give a stab at and provide you guys with some knowledge on. I've done builds on a lot of different things. You can find them in the tutorial playlist that is on my channel. So please do subscribe for more content like this and also a survival let's play and a couple of random collabs if I can find people to do them with and some random videos if you would like to see them just comment down below and i will give you my personal thoughts on whether i will be doing the video so thank you so much for watching be sure to comment down below what you thought of the tutorial is it a good build a bad build what could i do to improve the build and i hope that it helped you out in your minecraft world so i'm going to see you later guys goodbye